McLaren back with some beginner guitar lessons. We're going to learn our first chord today. Just for reference, this is how we number the strings. The thick string is the sixth, and the thin string is the first. This chord, E minor, uses two fingers, finger one and finger two. Finger one is going to go on the fifth string, second fret. Finger two is going to go on the fourth string on the second fret. Make sure you arch those fingers so that all the strings ring cleanly. And when we strum, our right hand is not anchored to the guitar. It floats freely. Let's strum all six strings. Strum down and up. Make sure you don't hold the pick too hard when you strum. It should have just a little bit of flexibility to it. Now for this E minor chord, you can either use fingers one and two or fingers two and three. Try them both. They're useful in different situations. Stay tuned for more. More beginner guitar chords today. We're going to learn how to use the diagrams and we're going to learn a second chord and a little exercise to go between them. Last time we learned the E minor chord. It looks like this on the guitar horizontally. Vertically, the chord looks like this, which is quite important because the chord diagrams are also oriented this way. So here's the chord diagram for E minor. Note the little O's above some of those strings. That indicates that you are to play those strings open, as in just let them ring. So in this case, you're going to play all six strings. You can use fingers one and two or fingers two and three. Now here is the diagram for E, which would also be called E major. Notice it's almost the exact same chord, except there's one extra finger down. Let's put that first finger down on the third string. And now to practice going between E minor and E, which is really just taking the first finger off and on. E minor, four strums. E major. Keep those fingers arched so that you don't have any buzzing strings.